They say one off land is worth 10 from the boat. But if you ask me, they're all good in my book. Another rod. We're suited up and we're ready for action. Oh yes. This is the one I dropped before. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here he is. As the reds start to fire up, we take the kids out for a bit of fun. But first, we're down at the pier. So this part of the pier is fairly sandy. That bit of information will determine what type of rig. It's basically three rigs. A Paternoster, a Western Port running rig, and a three-way swivel rig. Because I'm fishing a sandy area, and there's nothing really to snag up on too much, on this case, I'm gonna use a Snelled Suicide Hooks because I feel that will give me the best chance to hook the fish and catch the fish. Because I want to catch a larger fish, I like squid heads or silver whiting, full silver whiting, because I'm not interested in catching pinkies. The type of rod to use land base, you should go visit your local tackle store, but I would be thinking longer rod with a bigger spool to cast further. I'm probably not gonna to film today, but then I'll go back tomorrow because I think the fishing will be better um, the following day. The barometer's under a thousand right now, so it's gonna be hard to get the bite. But what's really important is we've got a tie change in the next two hours. So we just wanna be there for that, and hopefully we can get a fish. Drag pulls, and someone just missed a fish. So on the first day, we ended up sitting on the pier while it was pissing down with rain. I managed to catch a fish, and so did young Zaki. Here we go. Oh, it's a seaweeder. What happened? Sandy was a bit unlucky and lost the fish, but let's pick the action up here on day two, and Sandy's hooked up to a beauty. That was a good take. Really good? Yeah. Right on the tie change. Oh, it's on the Lucky I chopped my rod in just in time. A Sandy slowly works the fish in. A bit of friendly banter starts to erupt on the pier. Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need. More <laughs> <laughs> oh, pressure. How big was the one you got this morning? Uh, four kilos. Right? That's like good fish. Yeah. As we all actually wait to see this fish, the morale starts to come up on the pier. No way. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Out of the way, buddy. Out of the way. Hey, Sandy, go up. Go up, Sandy. Lower deck, Sandy. He's a freaking giant. He's a giant. Another rod. This one. Oh, yes. This is the one I dropped before. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here he is. <laughs> now this is a fish. Yeah. Oh. Now this is a fish. Hang on, I'll be back. As a big school of snappers start to swim through, the rods start to take off. The yeah. <laughs> He's on down there. And what's the end, mate? That's the next time. Okay, no. He's fit this from after. He's a good fish, no. He's not massive. There's a triple. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hold on. Thanks, bye. <laughs> wow! Fucking <laughs> donkey! On the net job, huh? He's a good fish. Great fish! Yeah, beautiful. Fit as hell, mate! Yeah, well done. <laughs> Woo! Good stuff. With doubles and triple hookups, the morale is at an all time high. on the tide charge. They're cool though. You gonna eat it? Nah, I'll put it back. Turn it clip him over. After hours and hours of waiting just to get the bite, it's another challenge in itself just to land the fish. He looked alright. Yeah? Yeah. Can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. That's a good fish too. As all the boys work together to try and land the fish, the fish is never caught until it's in the net. Donkey time! There you go, Sandy, he's number two for you. Okay, good little fish from the pier. I love to take right off. Sandy sets the hook and they're off and racing into another fish. That's got egg shakes in there. Sandy's on. He's on a snapper. Yeah. Beats the other day, doesn't it? The tables are turned for Sandy. The other day we were standing in torrential rain to catch one pinky. We're tangled, we're tangled, we need. Sandy's snapper is severely tangled around all the rods. No chance he can walk it around. So Nathaniel has volunteered to try and climb down and net the fish. Not the most crazy. Yeah. Uh, oh well, that's fishing. That's fishing. After this, I packed up and went home. Daz here got onto a fish as well. The boys tell me that afternoon the pier erupted and they caught over 40 fish. What an awesome day. The snapper lord of Melbourne. <laughs> Thank you. We've got the coffees to start our day off. We've got a customer over here. Just got socks and slides. He's going to go smack him today, that fella. He'll be on the fish. We're a big dog. <laughs> we're going to snapper. We're going to go out quite wide, try and target a very big one instead of all these school fish. And we reckon the council should do something about this bar because we're always getting stuck here. And uh, they need to extend these walls or do something so we can uh, get across the bar. I think we'll be right today. Just go sh straight, Izzy. Oliver's Hill up there. There's a new football stadium behind me. Look at that for a, uh, a view. This is why we come fishing, because we get to see stuff like this. Old mate's keen over there. He's got a tent. He's got a tent on the end of the pier. setting up the rods and we've got this has got some fresh squid that you caught yesterday yes and I've got some silvers and that's basically it we've got a spread of 
eight rods. That's a real good fish. How you feel? Good. Very nice. I'm trying to get in here because uh... you need to give us some commentary or a bit of a dry spell from you. No, not much is going on right now. It's here. I wasn't. <laughs> You don't look happy. No, I am. I'm just trying to hold him. All right. All right. Oh. All right. We're gonna have to keep that one because show us down his gob. He's got the. Oh, that. He's got the one eight sevens down there. Reeds is on a cracker of a fish. Fish, is he? On the scallop! Scallopini mussel. On the lucky stick. Oh, we got the old Santa today. Taking a bit old school with the ooh, old. Ooh, I gotta go. Got a bite. That's giant. Pretty, that's giant. There he is. G'day, mate. How are you? Unfortunately for you, Cobber. Coming home. He's an 80 centimetre fish. Caught on the scallop ultra rig, and I had a bit of squid. That was on a bit of squid, is he? So oh, maybe, was it? yeah. So yeah, it's dragging around it's with the boat. It's going, it's going. Yep, I'm on. Yeah. With a good fishing session on the snapper with Izzy, later that day I decided to get the kids out on the snapper as we knew where they were and they were biting very well. She's on a screamer. It's nice and slow. Do it out when you Girls, step back a little bit. In the last couple of weeks, we've had many great sessions. Too many to put on YouTube. Now's the time to get your friends and family out and get out in the water. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see you on the water. Old school Sienna with the. Uh, Shimano Sonic Pro, bit of old school, what I used to use. It's my new lucky stick. Oh, there he is. <laughs>